28 and assess on luxury and sin goods and tobacco. Yeah, I, I really don't know how much that <laughs> says will be because uh, it is over and above yeah. 28 percent. Uh, but I think uh, the bigger point is that the states will have to be compensated for loss. And uh, this says on tobacco, aerated drinks and luxury cars will be used to compensate uh, the loss made uh, by the states. Not sure how fair that is, but yes. Uh, I know, I know <laughs> exactly. Uh, so uh, luxury cars and aerated drinks and uh, tobacco, etc. will become and expensive. And this is to say that luxury cars are most expensive in a country like India. So Yes, yeah. yeah but Abhishek, right. I mean, you've, have got, you've got that book there that you've, of course, authored on India needs GST. So if I've got to ask you, are you happy with what's come out of this? Because you're an expert in the matter. See, I'm, I'm extremely happy because I think uh, we are uh, reaching that uh, fine uh, leg end uh, of the road. And uh, the way the GST Council addressed all these issues very maturely, I think hats off to them. They deserve and a standing they've ovation. I mean, they've, they've come, come a very fair. Yeah, yeah, very fair. And uh, the federal government and uh, the finance minister who's leading it, I think uh, really well uh, addressed most of these issues. So from that perspective, I think it was a good uh, meeting yesterday. Very lastly, July 1st, do you think it's achievable? Then I really think it is achievable. Really? Yeah, I think it is. Thanks, Abhishek. Thanks. Good talking to you. That was Abhishek Rustogi, of course. Uh,